Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the love forecast for the Virgo for April 25th, starting April 25th, ending May the 1st, 2016. Um, and so this is going to be a little bit more detailed than last week's because I'm doing a five card spread today. Um, it's still going to be a mini reading though, so I'm just going to shuffle. And your monthly reading is coming up, and I'll do a 10-card spread for that for the channel. Um, just give me some time to get those put up. All right, so we're going to look at what's going on currently, Virgo. And we're going to see what your theme for next week will be because spring is here. And so there's like a new, um, a lot of people are moving forward. Okay, so I don't know this is the time of the year where you get rid of like you know how when you do spring cleaning and stuff and yeah so we'll look at what's in the past and then the two future cards will be what you can look forward to next week so there'll be a future and then also a potential which is usually kind of like an advice card So a lot of people don't know this, but the Virgo, their secret desire is to love and to be loved. So, but they have a, some of them have a strange way of going about it. All right, so I'm going to cut the cards and Oh, this is amazing. Okay. So, we've got a lot of different stuff going on. I'd say that the theme for next week for the Virgo. Um, Let me just read through the cards before I make a determination. So, currently you got the Page of Wands. So, wow. The Wands is masculine energy so this is um, every time I see the wands it always just reminds me of um, fertility in a man and so the page is a messenger um, it's usually a literal person in your life it can just really it can point to like just the energy is like really um, very fresh and new. Okay, so the Page of Wands. Um, I'm not showing you the illustration, but using a pair of handmade stilts, the page boldly treks across an icy pond. Undaunted by the inherent risk of his actions, he confronts life's obstacles with youthful optimism and energy. So this is about love inspiring your creative side and this is really about someone being a genius so this is someone that is very young but but shows a lot of skill and a lot of creativity and this is a very intelligent person a genius actually is what so, like, this literal person is pointing to someone that's very, very intelligent, that is very advanced and very creative. In the past, you got the hanged man. So, this is a major life event that came up for you, a lot of you Virgos in the past. You had to make a choice. There was a not a choice between a partner, but just a life choice. So, there was a crossroads. And this was a major life event. So in the past, your life has sort of been in restriction, kind of on hold. And that can be self done also. This can be something that you do to yourself also. Typically, it points to other people, but not really. 
And it looks like that's what you were doing, Virgo. A lot of you, Virgos, and this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but I'm just seeing in the past, you know, as related to the rest of this reading, the Four of Cups came up. So this is you not being happy with what you had in spite of, this is happy, this is unhappiness in spite of success. So you were kind of not appreciating your partner if you're still with that person. If like if some of you Virgos definitely did break up with someone, um, I can see definitely some um, the the Four of Cups and the uh, Deviant Moon Tarot is like this person. They've got these cups. They're filled with wine, but they've got so much damn wine that they're just throwing them off the balcony one by one. So this is somebody that just doesn't appreciate. Okay. In the future, you did get the three of coins, which is about expansion. So this is a, a growth of love, you know, between you and a person, or it could be someone that you currently know, or you might meet somebody. So for some of you Virgos that are single, there might be some work that you need to do. You know, as far as with how you appreciate the things that you have. Because there's a lot of people out there that really... I mean, there's some people that just really don't even value their life. So, I mean, for someone to not value, you know, people... But it's not that they're a bad person. It's just that they've got so much... Okay, the four is balanced. So, you've got so much love and that, that you just... You, you're throwing stuff away and you just don't appreciate what's right in front of you and also boredom you know some of you got bored with your with what you were doing previously and in the future I do see you working it's a three of pentacles so this is um, three different energies um It makes a lot of sense with the Page of Wands coming up currently. Because next week you're going to have a lot of good stuff happen. Virgo, let me see here. The Three of Pentacles. I'm sorry. I want to just read to you guys out of the Deviant uh, book what it says about it. Three artisans are at work in the studio. Although they often act as a unified team, their unique personalities come through in their creations. The three pentacles represent their individuality. So they're sort of in a... They each have a pentacle. All of their pentacles are going in different directions. Okay, so... So, and they're... All, but it just represents how they're, how different they are. But they still, like... Their differences comes together, and it it's uh, this is all about artistic ability, working with others in a creative environment, and so as far as the way that I'm seeing it, it's kind of it might be a love triangulation, but not a negative one, and the reason why is because the potential is the two of coins. So I'll explain the two of coins or the two of pentacles in a minute. Not only does this point to financial success. But it also points to your relationship manifesting that financial success. So this is a very good omen when it comes to love. So for the next week, Virgo, at least next week, you're going to be doing real good as far as that's concerned now. Um, so with the Three of Pentacles to come up in the future position, this is... Um, I'm seeing literal people in this card. I mean, for some of you, it might be um, it might be that you that you already work with this person on projects or something. You know what I mean? But this is about mastering a skill and success and reaching that success by uniting different energies. You know, and just success through teamwork. Okay, so there's definitely a third person 
it might be a friend relative um, to get this as a future card means your inner satisfaction demands a pursuit of excellence and a mastery of your craft so um, the pentacles the pentacle itself is very significant because um, it represents the spirit not only the spirit at the south um, the spirit is the south and then you've got fire well the spirits everywhere but you, you know what I mean you got fire air water and earth so it's not only that it's working with I would say God also you know the three representing a triad okay so I mean you I guess you could take it how however you want it but I can also see as a potential the two of coins so the two of pentacles, I keep saying coins, but it's pentacles. It's different, in my opinion. So the two of pentacles is a belly dancer performing under the light of a crescent moon, balancing two silvery pentacles against the sky. Although her moves seem effortless, they come with great practice and concentration. So this is you achieving balance in your relationship. Even though there is a third, there's still going to be this balance and, and and that's good that they both came up in the future like this because um, this is balance, ba balance and harmony I, I, don't, I was about to say balance I put words together, it's so weird this is balance and harmony with effort and this is also handling multiple situations so Virgo, I can see you dealing with a lot of different things but like the money it's like I I've seen, um, you know, couples like that to where they just get together and they make money together for some reason. So this is also a good money omen for you in your relationship. And uh, the illustrations in these cards are really beautiful. Um, if you look at the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles, sorry, I can't show it to you. You can, <laughs> you guys have probably seen it before, but I mean, it's really, um, a beautiful drawing and it's got a really both of these cards have a very beautiful backdrop in it it really shows the creativity um, between the two of you so it's not just creativity as far as working on working projects but it's like the creativity that you show within the relationship you know how you set the stage it's a very creative it's a creatively inspired type of relationship to see both of these cards just stacked on top of each other. Um, especially with the belly dancer, and this represents Kundalini energy. The belly dancer is actually dancing on a red carpet, so... This is a really good card to get in a love reading, so let me see here what else I wanted to tell you about this that's gonna be it if you want a personalized reading go to my website um, this is you know like I said these aren't gonna resonate with everybody but I mean it should <laughs> to be honest with you so thank you for watching make sure you sub thumbs up this video and I'll see y'all next week bye